Hi all, welcome to my channel Steal Away Building a Dream. Um, this project is a Roberts 37 Radius Chine um, steel yacht. Um, I've been going for eight years now, part time. Um, my wife helps when she can, but pretty much on my own and just at weekends and holidays. Um, so it's been a very long, slow project, but uh, still we're progressing. So what we're going to be doing today, I'll give you a quick look at some of the treatment I've been doing um, to surface rust. Obviously I'm, I'm building this boat in the tropics and it suffers for a lot from humidity and rains in the wet season. I haven't been in a position to cover the boat completely from the weather. Um, I've now got some shades up as you've seen in the, in the most recent videos. But um, I do, regardless of that, I do get moisture in the air in the, in the wet season from humidity. And over the eight years I've had this primer on, I've cleaned it off and, and resprayed it obviously as I've gone. But um, eventually some surface rust does penetrate, particularly inside the hull. So what I thought I'd do is give you a quick look at what I do to stay on top of that. Um, it's not a final treatment solution, it's a way of keeping the rust at bay and keeping on top of it until I'm ready to clean right back and do final um, priming, undercoat and, and top coats, etc. So um, I'll take you around and show you some of the patches I've been doing. After eight years, it's still in very good condition, very little um, rust to be of concern about. Um, so we'll get going and we'll have a look. One of the first things I've done recently is I had some very light surface rust just come through the primer where it's, uh, it's slowly degraded over the last few years, particularly or primarily because of the, the, the UV and the heat from the sun. It still gets so hot as I've mentioned in the past, but it does affect the, the primer and this is only a holding primer that I, I just top up every now and then. Anyway, so I use this product called Furtan. It's, it's a, a rust um, conversion chemical. Uh, it does an excellent job for staying on top of rust and, and reducing it. And the basic principle is I just clean any loose surface rust away with a wire brush, spray this stuff on, um, try to do it when the sun is on the other side of the boat so it doesn't dry too quickly, keep it wet for 20 minutes or so, and then leave it for about 24 hours. In this climate, probably 12 hours would be enough, but it takes a while to dry. But you can see some examples there of what I've, I've treated a few days ago. I'll clean that back shortly and just paint over it. Um, the black staining is just the way it converts the rust back into a, uh, I forget what it's called, like a, t uh, in fact, I'll have a look at the name. This is the product I use for um, staying on top of the surface rust, um, just the powdery rust you, you get developed from moisture. Um, it's called Furtan and it, uh, as it says on the label there, it turns any rust into a ferric tannate. Um, the beauty of this stuff, once it dries, you're just cleaning the excess off with a bit of uh, isopropanol or something like that. Um, but you can weld directly over it, you can paint directly over it. It's a very good product. And we will actually, once we've finished the inside of the boat and ready to fit out, we're going to clean all the, the primer back and I'm going to treat any areas that show any signs of even light rusting. I'm going to treat it with this chemical and then once that's done we'll paint over it. The, bear in mind the boat was originally sandblasted completely inside so all we're doing is kind of maintaining that, that condition. This is going to save me so much time. If you imagine trying to clean around frames, beams, floors, inside a steel hull with a wire brush, it's, it's just a massive amount of work. Whereas this stuff, well, I can just pop it into this misting spray bottle and I can cover very large areas very quickly with it. And because the boat's now in good shade, um, it doesn't get too warm, so it doesn't evaporate, it takes time to dry, and it gets a good period of time to complete the, the reaction, the conversion reaction. So that's, that's good stuff to use. Um, I'm sure there's in other countries there's a similar product, uh, maybe even better, I don't know, but. Um, if you, if you do use anything like this or you've come across it before, um, let me know. I hope you enjoy the videos and uh, get some value from them. Um, if you like what I'm doing and if you find the, the videos informational or useful, please do subscribe. Um, I don't make any money from this, this channel at all um, or in any other way, so it's completely self-funded. And I would like to see the project finished, hopefully within the next two years and be living aboard. 